Hi everyone, welcome back to our scene. Today we are going to uh, see something really simple. It is how to turn the procedure ready generated UVs uh, of Roadscape into um, game engine ready UVs. So actual uh, real UVs. So in order to do so, so let's say you have done, uh, you are done with your project. So let's say I just want to use this in a, into a, a game engine. Uh, there are two, two steps you need to do. So first you will have to apply the roadscape uh, generator in order to uh, turn the geometry into real geometry. So the first thing you can do is uh, duplicate your object. It's always good to keep a copy. So once you have uh, duplicated your project, what you can do, you can simply select it. And what you want to do is visual geometry to mesh. So control A, visual geometry to mesh. Okay. This will turn the roadscape object into real geometry. And as you can see, it uh, displaced a little bit the Terran texture unwrapping. This is normal, we can uh, modify it later. So now, as you can see, everything is actual geometry. So this is our direct object. Now that we have turned Broadscape into real geometry, uh, we can go back into our asset library and select the Delete Pass Mesh tool, okay? You want to select this and drop it onto the Broadscape object you've just duplicated and uh, turned into real geometry. As you can see, it deletes the uh, pass uh, mesh uh, edges that were uh, still there in the mesh, okay? Now you can do, again, uh, Control A, Visual Geometry to Mesh, and those meshes, those edges are gone. Nice. Okay, the last step we need to do, we need to save our project. Why do we want to save the, uh, our project by now? It is because the tool that can help you turn uh, all the materials of your scene into uh, game engines ready UVs is a one-click operation uh, for now. I am planning to add a button to reverse the action. This will be coming very soon. I am actually working on it. And uh, so this is the reason you want to save your project. It is that if you want to go back to uh, procedural uh, UVs uh, in order to keep uh, going back to your original roadscape project and uh, modify your road, etc., you can go back to your previously saved uh, state of fire. Okay. So with, with that being said, uh, in order to turn your uh, roadscape procedural UVs into real UVs, you will need to simply go uh, into the end panel and set the roadscape tab. So this is the UV external uh, add-on that we've installed in the beginning of the tutorial series. And uh, once everything is selected, you can simply click on this button. If we click on this, as you can see, now we have uh, eight ma material founds, success, one object processed, okay? So now that we have turned the UVs into real UVs, we can see that the terrain uh, texture is gone. This is normal because the terrain uh, material is the only one that is uh, quite different in uh, Roadscape, okay? So the last step that we need to do, we need to then uh, go into edit mode on our object, select one face of the terrain. It can be either this or this. And we go into material, we select terrain and select all the faces, okay, of the terrain. Now, from here, we can go on the top down view, do U and project from view, okay? If we go back into UV mode and we just, you know, go like this, we can see that now our terrain is all and well as it was uh, before the operation. This operator basically disconnect th this socket in all materials of uh, Roadscape and connects this one in all materials as well. All right. So probably the next thing you want to do in order to uh, have a correct uh, looking uh, terrain in your game, as you can see, the terrain material is the only one to have a value input into the scale of the mapping. Okay. For everything else, the scale is already set at one. As it should be okay but not the terrain and the only thing you need to do is disconnect this so what you can do you can hold control and right click trace a knife like this okay now you have it like this and uh, what you can simply do is go back into probably uv editing select again and now in your uv you can select this all your terrain meshes and probably do 
times 100 or something like this in order to just scale the texture. Of course, one thing to note is that uh, Rootscape comes with uh, an untiling node, which uh, will untile the texture, tiling aspect within Blender. But this untiling node, of course, won't work outside of Blender. So when you are exporting to a uh, game engine, it is uh, important to note that the result won't be exactly like this. It will be this one, which is the same as what it was previously, but without the untiling. Okay, but this is simply how it works. You cannot export Blender custom shading nodes into game engines. Okay, the only way to do it, what you could do, you could bake the texture uh, of the result from the untiling. But uh, I won't suggest baking uh, the texture. I mean, you can always try to do it, but for a big terrain, you would need to create a very big uh, texture file. So that's not very uh, recommended. So you can either hit M in order to uh, just uh, disable it, or what you can do, you can go Control X when selecting, and then it will look like this, okay? So now everything is uh, ready uh, to export to the game engines and the UVs will uh, work in any game engine. So this is how you can do it, guys. I hope this helps you uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.